HR in a transformational sense isn't there to rip everything up and just go right uh, whatever you knew before it's not there anymore just get on with a different version it's actually to to, to pair it back to its its most necessary form of structure my experience over the last 17 years of running an organization it has been around trying to break down hierarchies and, and increase decentralization and, and move decision making to the edges it's quite trendy and fashionable to be an innovator and do the radical stuff, but actually what a lot of businesses need is a tiny smidge of that, but things to be incrementally shifted and innovated. I always tried to hire people who were hungry and talented rather than people with a lot of HR experience because those people come with a lot of traditional thinking, you know, bogged down by yeah. old ways of doing things. Um, I think it's really important that we, that we build these uh, safe to fail cultures in organisations and, and not the fail safe. So, you know, rather than trying to to put procedures and processes in place for every possible way that things go wrong. Actually, there are a number of human skills that actually don't appear on any job description, that actually don't get let out, could, and, and could potentially be the things that drive a business. I'd be more inspired by a leader who, who stands up in front of me and tells a story of a struggle he's had where he's failed. I think in the past, you needed status to have power and now you can have power through influence and we can influence in different ways. Mm -hmm.